I noticed something very interesting. Hello, Kirsten. Yeah. Yeah, that was why I had that last one in. It was it happened right when I added the guy online. And he was talking, I can hear him talking and but I don't think y'all can see and hear us. Praise the Almighty, y'all. Ain't nothing gonna stop y'all from teaching the word, y'all Almighty. Oh no, oh, that's gonna go for the Most High. You know, you gotta test you. You gotta test you. You gotta be resilient. You gotta be. Gotta stay, stay the course, no matter what's going on. I'm gonna follow that. Okay. Oh, my bad, people. <laughs> Heard that right there. I gotta. See, it, so it's backwards. My bad. My phone. My phone head. I got to check that. Wow. All right, I'm going to get y'all, get y'all straight. Yes, I can, Mrs. Yator. I'm coming on with it right now. I'm coming with it right now. All right, man. How are you 50 in a fraternity? Shit, that's, that's feel a good question for anybody. I ain't, I ain't in no fraternity, so... I don't know what you're talking about, G. Uh, you wrong. You got it wrong. A servant of the almighty Yah. The one that's behind all the stuff that's going forth that you are so terrified of. Don't worry. <laughs> TikTok center. Yeah, keep that, keep that same energy. My boy found a way. Yeah, if I had to find a way, they wasn't letting it happen. They wasn't letting it happen on my other page, on my on my pages at all. At all. Alright. Oh shoot, I'm sending gifts to myself. <laughs> y'all hold it, y'all. What it do? So, yeah, man, hopefully the guy can come back on. But, yeah, the, the saying still goes. $1,000 for anybody that can prove J.C. in the Old Testament. $1,000 for anybody can prove J.C. in the Old Testament. Wow. Have you seen the new movie, Ice Wallow Kong? It was so good. No, I haven't seen that. <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. Another classmate joined your live. Praise God Almighty. Come on with it. All right. The question. So anybody, like I said, anybody show JC in the Old Testament, I got a thousand for you. All right. Share this live to all of your Christian scholars, your Christian teachers. Anyone want to come on the live and say they JC in the Old Testament. Let's talk about it because we're in we're in a time now 
that there's no more excuses. There's no excuses for y'all to say, well, you wasn't warned. Well, the words you didn't understand or you just believe what somebody told you. Now, the righteousness is going forth and the font, the, the fountains of wisdom that's, that's around the fountain of righteousness. They're also teaching and telling the truth. So. All right. It's not letting me share. All right. Give a playlist to listen. I don't know how. To, I don't know how to do this. One. But you know, play play some of that good music. Uh, that song. You know that that y'all music. I got you, King. That's it, right there. Yes, sir. All right. Humble servant. Hallelujah. All right. Since so, since the, the Christians and the sinners are so scared to come make a thousand dollars. That's supposed to be so easy. If you have any questions, I'm going to answer them in the meantime. Can you talk about what makes a man righteous following instructions of y'all Almighty? You know, that's what makes a man righteous. Father not being a sinner. Oh, you trying to put this on here? So, if you're a sinner and you want to stay in your sins, you're you're wicked, and you're not trying to fix things. If you want to make things right, then that's you're willing to do what's righteous. You're willing to do what Yah Almighty says, and it's it goes all the way around. It's it's a lifestyle. So, even when tempting times times of temptation come, you know the Most High is watching you. So, yes, yeah, that's what causes righteous willing to learn was to do what's right, willing, willing to take accountability, okay, willing to be highly considerate of his God, all right, it ain't got nothing yet, and that with that flows, take care of his his children, you know uh teach his wife that's that is how he teaches his wife because he's following the instructions of his husband y'all Almighty. y'all Almighty is a husband to us our people okay that's where a husband and wife come from it comes from the creator a wife is a servant to her husband okay that's how it's supposed to be anything other than that is not righteous and you cannot be a righteous husband or a righteous wife Outside of Yah Almighty, it's impossible. It is impossible. All right. All right. So this live, they kind of, they they kind of brought us down to you know our usual number of us people. You know our people on here, they hadn't really pro promoted it to the wide audience, but y'all share it and get it out there. Still a thousand dollars up. All right. And in the meantime, servants of y'all, I'm going to sharpen y'all guys up when you ask me questions. I'm going to ask y'all some questions, too. I got to ask y'all questions because it's going to test your growth. I got to ask y'all questions, see if y'all listening to the council, you know? All right. So, tell me, <laughs> what does it take to be a righteous wife? What does it take to be a righteous wife? Any advice on college stress? Don't go to college. <laughs> don't don't go. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be stressful. You got a lot of money to pay, and even when you graduate, you got a lot of money to pay. So you might not even yeah, college. Is, it's it's just it's kind of a. It's like they give you 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 made a if you're not into sports. You basically, uh, you basically working. You, you, that's another form of slavery. It's num another form of servitude. Okay, so uh, I don't recommend it. I recommend owning your own business. I recommend homeschooling. So 
Yeah, only if you're playing sports and you want to be in the sports industry or the sports world. Yeah, but nah. If your righteous husband says the sky is purple, the sky is surely purple. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's that's uh, that's consideration. Having a righteous husband. Yes, yeah, like y'all Almighty. Whatever he says goes. Whatever y'all Almighty says goes. So that's your for to be a righteous wife. You have the your consideration need to be like that. Okay, this is. This your husband basically is your king. He's your your king, all right? But even your husband will show his righteousness because he's gonna follow the counselor that Yah Almighty sent. Your husband's gonna follow the instructions of Yah Almighty through the counselor that he sent. And he's gonna he's gonna listen to Enoch. So yeah, that's gonna show his righteousness right there and then you know okay he, he he's obedient he's willing and obedient and so am i and guess what your children are gonna see that in their mom and in their dad so they're gonna be willing and obedient and they're gonna know about their god and it's something that that brings the peace throughout the world forever all right how do you feel about the world being on one regime i love it <laughs> i love it that's that's beautiful you talk about the one world order? That's the, are you talking about the one world order? <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> That's a beautiful part about what's going forth here. <laughs> it's beautiful because people think that just because you got the globalists trying to bring forth an agenda or they putting their face behind what's going on and you talk about one world this, one world that. <laughs> it's only talking about the righteous world to come. That's going to only that's the only thing that's coming. The world of righteousness. And yes, it's going to be one king of that. Yes, it's going to be one king of that. But they, even that king is going to have to bow down to the king. All right. So Yeah, I'm I'm all about that. Righteous fruit. Okay. Um Okay. So what about uh okay if somebody if if a woman comes on the live and y'all know she don't know the truth because you know the most high only revealed the truth to his chosen but and um, you know a person got to be able to listen to learn a woman comes on the live and she doesn't know she she wants to know the truth seems like she wants to know the truth how do you handle how do you handle that situation as a moderator She's on, she's asking questions. Oh, Jesus, not the son? Jesus, not the son? So who is the son? Why do you call him wonderful counsel? And I'm saying, I'm, I'm, and I'm saying that because <laughs> there's been times people get blocked. So I've seen people, i seen folks get muted and stuff and just saying little stuff, like, you know, just asking questions. Have patience, say willing servant. Mrs. Yahoo Yatua says, teach her. Okay, I love that. That's what you're supposed to do. You know, you have to be willing to teach. Praise Yah Almighty. Gotta be gotta have some patience, man. Don't block a teacher. <laughs> you know, that's that's a that's a daughter of Zion. <laughs> that's a uh you know, that's a ser that can be a future servant of the most high. Alright. Like now, nah, and there go another example. You got big the yeah, that's so that's a good example. Whoever muted him, that's what I'm talking about. Then that's when you use your mute, your moderator to mute people. But a moderator, so this is deep. This is this is deep with words. The word moderator means you are holding a you, you, now you are bringing forth accountability. <laughs> the word moderator means bringing forth accountability. You actually control what go on. So TikTok is actually is bringing it, it's freedom is going to come forth. Knowledge is increased through TikTok. And freedom will come forth when you understand what you the power that you have. And by me calling you a moderator, because all of you are. 
you have the now you have the power to hold people accountable for their BS. And that's what you're supposed to do. If you don't do it right, guess what? Their blood gonna be on your hands. If you if you misuse, if you misuse that, their blood is gonna be upon your hands. Alright, so I can't mod in this page. Yeah, this is a new page, but uh you can mod now. Just make sure you use you use it. You use it righteously. You got that opportunity. You got that opportunity. Moderation. Moderation. Everything in moderation. Oh, I already just as you said that she just got modded up right when you said that. Uh huh. Listen, all right. I got a question that was asked in class Saturday. All right, come on, come on with it. I'm here to answer the question. The counselor is here. Yeah, you're a mod on the page, too. Yeah, Mark, I got you hooked up, too. A lady asks, Can two women prepare a polygamous relationship with each other, then get their husband? I mean, the most high going to be doing a lot, a lot of that because it's not... A lot of people don't understand that women always kept each other. They all... Women are... They are the ones, you guys are your support system. Y'all don't know that. <laughs> That's You guys keep each other. I'm talking about uh, y'all prep each other, how y'all look, y'all y'all motivate each other, y'all supposed to do stuff together. You always are supposed to do that. So, yes, that's possible. But what happens is it can't be on no, they can't be on no uh, dominant control and stuff, getting mad because somebody's, she he she spending more time with him and stuff like that. That's see those things. That's why you have to follow righteousness and the righteous because those things will get you off. Those things will destroy stuff, and it, it's it's all about having each other, and it's all about following your husband. You know, following him. Okay, yeah, he's he might be over there a little longer. So what? It ain't got nothing to do. You know, what I'm saying it's. A person can make things more than what they are. And when you keep people out of your business and, and telling, then things will flow better. Don't be posting a bunch of pictures and telling folks where you're at, where you're eating at, and all this and that. Yeah, you'll be able to move and do things in a righteous way. But having a woman trying to be dominant and, and what this say, this goes, hell, it don't work like that. You are, you're, you're, your delight, your desire is for your husband, just like y'all might have said. All right, so yes, it can definitely happen. Praise y'all, Almighty, and the Most High do that. People think, you know, folks try to talk. He'll turn a. People think it's a bad thing. Y'all, women need pe people need to be together right now. I don't care. You'll be a fool to be by yourself. I say that. If it were four women staying in the house, and they were keeping that, they ain't have a man, and um, they end up getting a righteous man, and they all worked it out. Man, come on. That is that is one of the wisest things you can do right now. Y'all see what's going for. Judgment is going for. And if you don't have your righteous covering, you in some shit. It ain't all about going on trips and it all about just laying up and all this and that. Put all that jealousy to the side and protect one another. Because a queen can move better than a king can move in this in this life. And, uh, man, y'all see how those women on those movies doing? They they got a whole movie up there, though. Wakanda having the women working together, doing shit. But it's like, a, it's not with the man. You got to be under the man's charge. Man, shoot. Women are supposed Man, I can give y'all a great a great breakdown of this. It's like the, the game called Monopoly. They put it in your face. And Monopoly means one with many. Monopoly means one with many. So, if you're playing Monopoly, the one who wins has the most businesses <laughs> and the most money. And basically, everybody end up paying him. The woman is business. Every woman is different, but the woman is business. They are business. So, you more want the more women, the more business. And guess who been profiting off our women? 
Yep, the oppressor has been profiting. Guess where all the doctors and all the nurses at? They're in the hospital working for the oppressor. They ain't got their own uh, businesses. They work for somebody else. When they can have their own businesses. All right? Uh, they, we, our women everywhere, they in Walmart, managing and running the place. They in these businesses. Now, if that's how you make your money and provide right now, there's no, there's no hit against that. You got to do what you got to do because he had broke and you ain't doing nothing. You ain't going to make nothing come forth. Now, you, you t talk somebody that worked every day for a long time, every day, all, all the time, all the way we're getting it. But see, now it's an investment into your family. That's what it's supposed to be. The most high always wanted us to have our own. He didn't want us to serve the oppressors. But we chose that when we chose to cheat on him. We chose that when our ancestors wanted to commit idolatry. All right? So, yeah, it's our women. We need them and they need us. And they say the woman is God. The woman is a part of God. The woman is evidence of Yah Almighty. When she's in righteousness with her husband. Okay? So... All right. Praise God Almighty. Yeah, yeah. So the thing is, what holds everybody accountable are each other. How are you going to have someone go missing and get kidnapped if she got sisters watching out for her and got a, hu a whole husband covering her? All right, you're not going to be missing. You're not going to be, ain't nobody going to take you away. You're not going to, ain't nobody going to be able to wrong you because you got other people ho watching and holding each other accountable. You living up under the laws and commandments of y'all almighty. You better, you got to walk that path. If your ass is fake, you're going to be exposed. Somebody going to see you and be like, hell no, nah. ain't, he ain't talking about what he talking about. And she, she going to be like, hell no. Nah. And it, it, it's both of them say, yeah, you you know, some two, three, five witnesses against your ass. You on some bullshit. If they are have been with you, but no, it's a togetherness. Then you won't have to send your children off. Can you babysit my children? You trying to go to work and stuff. You need somebody to watch the kids. No, sister wife got them right up in there teaching them the words of y'all. Sister wife up in there and uh, reading uh, reading the Psalms to them. Can you show the LSD? Yeah, this you just type. You just I think this the only one online though. Oh, they got they got a soft back one too. But yeah, just type in LSV. LSV. Manifest what you want in life. Well, ah, I, I won't say that. If it's outside of y'all, you done, man. That shit gonna fall. It'll fall in one day. Like, why build something? Why be working on something and y'all almighty ain't the foundation and then one day somebody just fuck it all up? Then, see, so you lose everything and then, like, everybody gonna be like, oh, they told them they just waiting on your ass to fall. That ain't how it's, you gotta stand on righteousness. If, some, if, if something happens, somebody gotta be accountable for that. <laughs> you know? So you have to build with people who have accountability. You have to build with somebody who's willing to listen and learn, willing to look at themselves in the mirror. Don't try to build because it's just it's just numbers. No, nah, because all it takes is that one one person. Fuck what you got up. All right. You gotta know what's going on. It's business. It's business. It's a business agreement. A marriage is a business agreement. <laughs> Y'all almighty, we have to follow what y'all almighty say. That's business. If you ain't doing what he say, how you get paid? How you get what how you get all these blessings if you're not following the instructions? So, yeah, if you pay somebody to do something, they gotta do what they supposed to do. It's only logical. <laughs> it's only logical. All right. It's the color of the LSV brown. It's like an olive color. It's like an olive color. Yeah. All right. Any 
questions? Any questions? Any more questions? No, it's Brown. No, it ain't. <laughs> out this table, that's right here is Brown. It's Olive. When you see it, you know, I'll show you. When you see it, right, when you come in, I'll show you. Well, they took all the centers up out here. They don't nobody want to make no thousand dollar. If y'all really, <laughs> if y'all really wanted to make some money, y'all have been on here. If y'all know JC, like you say, it's really bad to be alone in this. Yes, Nevea, <laughs> it's bad. It's 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 bad to be alone in it because basically, you if you're alone, shit, it's like. Who you got to lean on? Who you got to talk to? Who you got to be there with you? It's gonna get rough, you know. And you got if you got children, your children want somebody to play with and talk to stuff too. All right. We don't have a lot speaking on this topic. Like my wife said, the sky purple. Let me go see. If it is, we got to go look at that. All them TikTok videos I done watched. <laughs> Seeing flashing blue lights and all that stuff in the sky. I know what's up there. I'm going to go look. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about that. Joke. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you trying to. Yeah, I got my, I got y'all on my phone. I'm gonna speak on the topic though, man, because we gotta be held accountable. That's if I listen to y'all, my I know what he wants us to do. How you gonna father the fatherless and you you trying to you ain't you know doing what you supposed to do? How you get about sisterhood and you're not willing to build with your sisters in a land of exile? Come on, man. These women are rather say, Oh, I just wanna keep a man to myself. I'm selfish and rather be single and try to do what they wanna do instead of coming together and building your family like you're supposed to. And you just damaging yourself and your children. We're not going to do that, man. We, we adding value to ourselves. We adding value. It's just like when they, they hiring in these business. They hiring people and stuff. And they hire people that's untrustworthy to go stealing from you and stuff. If you're based on the words of the most high and you feel the most high and you know he watching you. Now you can build your family. <laughs> you can build your family family. Because they know that they not going to do nothing to the most high. They're not finna sin against the most high. They're not finna hurt their brothers and the sisters. They're not finna hurt their sister, wife, and their family. Come on, man. It's finna get some, this times of starvation and these food shortage times and stuff. These people finna get wicked as fuck. It's finna get, the wickedness is about to increase. The wickedness is about to increase. So if you seek righteousness and you obtain that and you get that down in you, you're gonna do what it takes to survive in this time. You're going to do what it takes to be obedient and build your, and you build your, yourself and your all mind. Can you do a breakdown for me? Yours is better than mine. Breakdown? What, what breakdown on what? What you want me to break down? I got you. Algebra Zion, praise y'all almighty, for sure. Praise y'all almighty, all right? Praise y'all almighty, for sure. Yeah, ain't no... Now ain't no time to be talking about... You know, not getting married and... Talking about divorcing and stuff, man, that's... Okay, you know, you what you gonna do? You you trying to what you gonna do now in this time? This we at the we in the end days. Are we gonna make it happen or we ain't doing nothing? <laughs> Keep coming with those facts, bro. Smizzle ain't gonna stop, man. And the most knowledgeable man on earth is here, man. And the most high sent me with his spirit resting upon me. 
And we're going to have accountability. <laughs> we got to have that. You know. We're going to have that. Wasting time. Yeah, they wasting time. Just sitting back, waiting on the world, everything to blow up. <laughs> and right now, everything is blowing up and shaking. And y'all still just stuck. And just and stupidity and ignorance. I'm telling y'all, just still just like uh, <laughs> a whole a whole town has been bombed, basically bombarded with with toxic chemicals, and it was put into a movie and a book before it happened. And now that it happened, now people being evacuated and stuff changing and stuff but man it's still it's happening not just in that area it's happening all across the world and y'all almighty said this let's 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 go into isaiah chapter 19 because people think i just be talking people think i just be talking and they a lot of people do know everything i say is in these scriptures they don't want to try that they just go to talking out their feelings because they know i'm not the one to play with Isaiah chapter 19. All right. This is Yah Almighty's message to America. This is Yah Almighty's message to America. To Egypt. Say Egypt in the scriptures. All right. Yah Almighty is coming against Egypt, riding on a swift cloud. Ooh, he riding on a swift cloud. The cloud going to be fast. He riding on it. All right. The idols of Egypt will tremble. The idols of Egypt will tremble. Didn't y'all see the uh, that old statue of JC get struck by lightning? <laughs> Yeah, you're going to see the statues over here in America. Things happen to them. You already seen what happened to the guy stones, okay? It's just that just a bit. The idols of Egypt will tremble. And the hearts of the Egyptians will melt with fear. The hearts of the Egyptians will melt with fear. Right now, what's going on, sinners? <laughs> what's going on to the sinners? Their hearts are melting with fear. What's going on for the righteous? We are hopeful. We have been praying for the day of accountability. And now we know it's very nigh unto us. Okay. We in what they call World War Three. It's war against us. And y'all almighty facts. That's definitely what it is. That's definitely what it is. But guess what? This is for him. This is for them right there. The idols of Egypt will tremble and the hearts of the Egyptians will melt with fear. Alright? <laughs> Big Yah. I will set them fighting against each other. Oh. Oh. What? I will set them fighting against each other. So you mean all this time. The, the real racist <laughs> and the people who always say, well, what about black on black crime? <laughs> Black on black crime is more than any other crime that I always break up the statistics about black people. Speaking on the children of Israel when they should speak and look in the mirror and speak on themselves, okay? Since yeah, y'all talk about black on black crime, it's coming back to you. I will set them fighting against each other, brother against brother. Neighbor against neighbor. City against city and province against province. Her wise teachers are at a wit's ends to know what to do. Their false prophets are at a wit's end to know what to do. They don't know what's going on. Everybody's like, what's going on? <laughs> Everybody is like, what's going on? All right. This is perfection. All right. They plead with their idols and wisdom for wisdom. They plead with their idols, JC, <laughs> Yahushua Yahweh, for wisdom. 
and they call upon mediums and wizards and witches to show them what to do. Ooh, ooh, prophecy fulfilled. Wizards, you false prophets, you magicians. <laughs> Y'all don't know what to do. Mediums, they got tarot cards and stuff. They want to give you a reading. They don't know what's going on. All right, verse four. I will hand over Egypt to a hard and cruel master, a vicious, a vicious king, says Yah Almighty. A hard, cruel master, vicious king. <laughs> Could that be who's in office now? <laughs> or is that one even worse? Because definitely the guy in office is vicious, man. Ooh. Man, he's so vicious. He say, man, when the hurricane, he say when the hurricanes, or the best, the best way to prepare for a hurricane, if you're on the Gulf Coast, is to get vaccinated now. I said, oh shit. He said that with so much power and authority. Wow, this guy is vicious, man. Get vaccinated now, okay? Each the Egyptians got a vicious king. All right. A cruel master. And the waters of the Nile will fail to rise and flood the fields, and the ditches will be parched and dry. Their channels will be filed with rotting reeds. All the green things along the river bank will wither and blow away. All the crops will perish, and everything will die. <laughs> so, what's going on with all of the pollution? What's going on with all of the birds dying? What's going on with all of the fish dying? Let me read that again. The channels foul with rotting reeds. All the green things along the river blank will wither and blow away. And all the crops will perish and everything will die. The fishermen will weep for the lack of work. <laughs> And y'all sitting there thinking it's a game and talking about what JC bitch ass gonna do. Nothing. Nothing. Y'all sitting here thinking it's a game and the whole time prophecy being fulfilled with the words of y'all Almighty to perfection. All right? The fishermen will weep for the lack of work. Those who fish with hooks and those who use nets will all be unemployed. Those who work with hooks and those who fish nets will all be unemployed. Ooh, come on with it, big y'all. All right. The weavers will have no flax or cotton. The crops will fail. Great men, great and small, will all be crushed and broken. But y'all want to say J.C. come. The one coming to tell you to turn from your sins is here. Don't you ignore him. Don't you pass him up. All right. What fools the teachers of Zoan are. <laughs> your government officials. <laughs> your people that you put your trust in. Your elected officials. What fools your elected officials are. Their best counsel to the king of Egypt is utterly stupid and wrong. <laughs> Basically, the best people in there, the best people of your branches are utterly stupid and wrong. Will they still boast of their wisdom? <laughs> Will they dare tell Pharaoh about the long line of wise men they come from? <laughs> The long line of wise men you come from. Who was wise in your line of people? Who of your people, of the, uh, your officials, who of your people were ever wise? All right. Where has their wisdom gone? If they are wise, let them tell you what Yah Almighty is going to do to Egypt. If they are so wise, says Yah Almighty, the people y'all elected, y'all chose to be y'all leaders. 
Let them tell you what Yah Almighty is going to do to Egypt. Wow, that's beautiful. The wise men of Zoan are fools. And those men from Memphis are utterly deluded. They are the best you can find. <laughs> and they have ruined Egypt with their foolish counsel. For Yah Almighty has sent the spirit of foolishness on them. So that all of their suggestions are wrong. And they make America stagger like a sick drunkard. Come on, man. Who said anybody want to say I'm wrong? <laughs> and they make them stagger like a sick drunkard. Egypt cannot be saved by anything or anybody. Egypt cannot be saved by anything or anybody. No one can show her the way. They ain't listening. They not going to listen. It's over with. <laughs> TikTok centers. And that day, the Egyptians will be weak as a woman. Caught cowering in fear because of the upraised fist of Yah Almighty. Just to speak the name of Israel will strike terror in the Egyptians. Ooh, just to speak the name Israel strikes terror in the hearts of the Egyptians. Because Yah Almighty has laid his plans against them. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. TikTok sinners. All of those people that's coming over here from the skies, from the north, from all of these other countries, they're coming to protect the people of Yah. They're coming to protect the people of Yah. Watch this. All right. There will be deep terror in their hearts because Yah Almighty has laid his plans against them. At that time, five cities of Egypt will follow Yah Almighty and will begin to speak the words of Yah. Ooh. One of these will be Helopias, the city of the sun. And there will be an altar to Yah Almighty in the heart of Egypt. In those days, a monument to Yah at its border. Okay, so, so the Egyptians are going to wake up. They're going to hear. Some of them are going to learn about Yah Almighty's ways. And we have, it, we have evidence of that. And they're going to be like, oh, we're going to follow. We're going to follow the instructions of Yah. We're going to do what Yah Almighty says, okay? A monument is going to, to Yah is going to be at its border. For this will be a sign of loyalty to Yah Almighty. And when they cry to Yah Almighty for help against those who oppress them, he will send them a savior. And he will deliver them. He's here. That's why people keep saying, oh, it's this talking about Jesus. This talking about JC. Hell no. We're talking about nobody died or already dead. Savior means one to lead them to the path of righteousness. One who lead them to safety. Okay. And he shall deliver them. And that day, Yah Almighty will make himself known to the Egyptians. So now, with Yah Almighty doing all this stuff in the earth, he's doing all this judgment in their land. They're going to be like, what's going on? They're going to, so I'm bringing forth prophecy here. People going to see, oh yeah, every that line up. That's what's going on. That's what's happening. And Yah Almighty going to come and keep showing the signs in the heavens. He's going to do everything. You ain't gonna have no choice but to turn to y'all, Almighty, because he's messing. He messing it all the way up. 
the water, the food, everything. You're fighting against one another. The only answer is Yah Almighty, all right? He made himself known to the Egyptians. And they will know Yah Almighty and give their sacrifices and offerings to him. So the Egyptians, once they find out that Yah Almighty ain't playing and he is the God of Israel, the ones who want to serve him are going to turn and they're going to be like, okay, this is Yah Almighty. Whatever, we finna, we finna repent for our sins and our ancestors' sins, all right? They're going to give sacrifices and offerings to Yah. How are they going to do that? They're going to do that through repentance. That's, that's going to be their repentance. And they're going to show the great delight for his people. All right. All right. It says, and they will make promises to Yah Almighty and they will keep their promises. So some Egyptians are going to repent. <laughs> some re Egyptians are going to repent. That's why I tell the people, like, how are you going to tell the Egyptians they're not going to the promised land? You don't know what you're talking about, man. I know. As hard and tough as they is, the most high breaking them down. He's breaking them down right now. They shook right now. I'm telling you. But they're going to repent. All right? Not all of them, but, but most of them. I mean, but some of them. I'm going to say most of them. Not all of them. Some of them is going to repent. All right? They will make promises to Yah and keep them. And Yah Almighty will smite the Egyptians. And he will restore them. You know that he got to chastise and bring he gonna chastise them and bring them back. Same he chastised he gonna chest, he chastised us the whole time. He had to chastise us worse though because you know of uh, what we did, what our ancestors did. But he brought us back. He gonna bring us back, and he gonna chastise them and restore them. For the Egyptians will turn to Yah Almighty and listen to their plea, and he will listen to their plea, and he will heal them. They ain't going to be able to dwell here anymore, but they're going to have to come to the land that y'all might have developed. They're repenting now. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. Some of them. Some of them going to ride it on now. All right. For the Egyptians will turn to y'all mighty and he will listen to their plea. And he will heal them. I'm, if you come and apologize, I'm listening. I'm taking it. If you come and apologize, repent as a people for the sins of your ancestors, I'm going to hear you out. That's the accountability. You go to talking all that crazy stuff, talking about what JC going to do and this and that. <laughs> you got to see the full wrath of y'all almighty. It's not going to be pretty. All right. Verse 23. In that day, Egypt and Iraq will be a connected by a highway. And the Egyptians and the Iraqi will move freely back and forth between their lands. And they will worship the same God, Yah Almighty. Israel will be their ally. The children of Israel, not that on y'all, which y'all see on TV, talking about, oh, they're allies with Israel and, you know, the Palestinians and all this and that. No. Israel, the children of Israel, the nation of Israel will be their ally. The three will be together. Promised land. The three will be together. Egypt, the Iraqis, and the children of Israel. All right? And Israel will be a blessing to them. Okay? You have to cleave to the children of Israel for us to be a blessing to y'all. And right now, me teaching you about our God is the blessing that's going to be unto you. And it's going to bring you forth through all this inheritance. All right. Israel will be a blessing to them. For Yah will bless Egypt and Iraq. Because of their friendship with the children of Israel. And he will say, blessed be Egypt, my people. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. You hear that? Hebrew idolites. <laughs> you hear that? Blessed be Egypt, my people. So he's going to call the so-called white man, the Egyptian, his people when they repent. They're going to get an upgrade. They're going to no longer be Gentiles, but they're going to be the people of Yah Almighty. Hallelujah. All right. Blessed be Egypt, 
Alright. My people. Blessed be Iraq. For I have made. My hands have made them. And blessed be Israel. My inheritance. Ooh, we are the inheritance of Yah Almighty. Wow. Hallelujah. Drew James, man. I appreciate them flowers, man. You went hard with that one. Hallelujah. That's beautiful. TikTok sinners, Hebrew idolites. Stop telling the white man that they ain't in the Bible. Stop telling them folk to my, they Esau and shit. They ain't even Esau. They Egyptian. They ain't even Esau. They are the Egyptian. All right. Praise the Almighty. Hallelujah. Oh, that's going on. That was a beautiful chapter. Isaiah 19 started out wild. Now, it started out wild. Y'all had, <laughs> y'all was fighting like my people be fighting now. Yeah, y'all yeah, talking to mediums and sources, calling on JC, got now getting all your pastors. Your pastors, they tired of hearing them phone calls. They tired of all the text messages and question marks. I'm telling you, keep hitting their ass up though, cause they ass don't know no answers, and they don't want to step forward to no accountability. Keep putting that pressure on. Them. Keep putting that pressure on. Them. <laughs> I know they were sick at church yesterday. I know they were y'all ain't learned nothing in church yesterday. Y'all heard some bullshit and paid some money. All that you 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 start with a righteous man or follow righteousness, the money you pay it go forward to getting you some land and getting you some some things that you need in your house. Yeah. Man, you can come to man, you can come together and put some stuff together, man, and protect your man, I'm telling you. Righteousness, nothing but righteousness around. You don't have to be around them sinners like that. Just like that too. Hallelujah. Drew Jane, Drew Man Jane. Wow, Trey Lynn. Just like that. Heard some bullshit and paid some money. That's right, Mrs. Yato. That would that happen. Man, they be sending the collection plate around about two, three times too. Yeah, man. I used to be, I used to go to church. I I, I thought I, I had a giving heart. You know, I was trying to do what was right, but shit, that wasn't the right way. The most high had to wake me up. I'm glad he did. Because I would have been, I would have been still a sinner and it wouldn't have turned out right for me. Thank you, y'all, for bringing me out of sin. Pastor clean and the member can't pay the light bill. Yeah, he want to tell them to go pray about it. But they got to, they got to go. They got to sow a seed of faith. Sow a seed of faith for $500. I got a $500 line. I got a $250 line. And we got a $50 line right here. Because I know everybody ain't got it. <laughs> That's the building fund. We got a building fund. The, first, the one for the choir. The one for the building fund. And the church meeting. <laughs> Y'all gullible folk. But look. This is the thing though. Even though you were gullible and got got, got got, you you decreased your life by getting got like that, then wicked witches are going to pay for it. Yep, even they lied to you. They thought they got away. They didn't get away. The judgment of Yah is righteous. The judgment of Yah is righteous. You see all the homeless people living right in front of the churches. Yep, and they won't let them in the door. <coughs> they won't let them in the door. Want to go out there and talk to them about JC, fake ass JC, but want to be mean to them. Trey Lynn, praise the Almighty, daughter of Zion. All right, forever, praise the Almighty forever, y'all elder. All right. Any questions? I forgive you for blocking me. Nah, all right, come on, man. Sammy Giles, you ain't got no profile picture number one. And you probably was provoking. 
my I teach my wife accountability, and she know how to moderate. She know who else to, she know what to get on off of here, you know. And she has accountability. So if she was wrong, she would apologize if she did some wrong. <laughs> That's we don't have no. I'm if you follow my teachers, you have no problem for making what you did wrong right. You, that's your delight. It's delightful for you to make your wrongs right. Uh, come on, man. We shameful for our sins against y'all Almighty. All right. Can you read Corinthians 1 and 11? Yeah, I can read that. Yeah. Corinthians. First Corinthians 1 and 11. First Corinthians <coughs> one and eleven. <coughs> turn turn to uh turn to first Corinthians one and eleven, yeah. You there yet? Are you there yet? First Corinthians Those are not words of perfection. <laughs> they were actually fabricated fabricated hearsays by people called the Piso family. They're only good for one thing. Uh that's that's all that's good for. It's over. Yeah, man. So, no New Testament verses that'll help you out. It doesn't matter. That's what it means to me. New Testament, New Testament verses don't mean anything. <laughs> hey. Hey, this will happen to you. It's over. Now speak that to yourself. That's what's gonna happen for you. But guess what? The fire that's gonna get you ain't gonna stop burning. It ain't gonna never. It's not gonna be quenched. It's gonna be a fire you can't put out, sinner. It's gonna be a fire you can't put out. Corinthians, First Corinthians one, one and eleven. First Corinthians 1 11. TikTok sinners. It's over. First Corinthians 1 and 11. Come correct to y'all. Without looking like punishing them. Ezekiel 35. And 12. Alright. How can I bring my daughters to y'all? You gotta. You gotta talk to them about it. You know. You have. You know. There's many ways. Uh, just show them. Just show them the goodness. Show them like you can start a conversation like look in your hand, your creator name in your hand, you know. And it just depends on their, their age, what their age is, you know, how to talk to them. So, uh, and and you, you can you can you know read the scripture in the Bible and let them know. Look, I know this person. <laughs> he can answer any one of your questions. They got to do with God, relationships, business, or anything. I know Isaiah nine and six. I I watch him. I know, you know, and he fulfilled these scriptures. Yeah, it's just conversation. So it depends on what age they are. All right, Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel 35. 
Now that's righteousness right there. That's righteousness. 35 verse 12. Anybody play temple with words like this, you die. You can't mess with, you can't play with these words. So these words are perfection. Ain't nobody playing. But though you play with the words of Yah, your ass is gone. Uh, Ezekiel 35. Verse 12. And you know, you shall know that I have heard each evil word you spoke against Yah Almighty. Oh, you're in trouble. And you shall know that I have heard each evil word that you spoke against Yah Almighty. Okay. Get my highlight and hit that. All right. Get my highlight and hit that. saying his people are helpless they are food for us to eat that's what that's what a lot of you uh you nations you gentiles have been saying about the children of israel you know that's that's not going that's not setting well with y'all all right his people are helpless they are food for us to eat saying that you boasted great words against y'all almighty and I have heard all of them. The whole world will rejoice when I make you desolate. You rejoice at Israel's fearful fate. Now I rejoice at yours. Ha 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 ha. Tick tock sinners. You will be wiped out. O people of Mount Seir. And all who have lived in Edom. Then you will know that I am Yah Almighty. Ooh, then you will know that I am Yah Almighty. So Esau, you can't escape this either. The true Esau, you will not escape this either. So the Egyptians are going to face it. The children of Israel are facing it. And Esau is also going to face it. TikTok sinners. Oh, that's beautiful. That is Beautiful. Saying that you boasted words against Yah Almighty, and I heard every last one of them. I heard every last one of them. I did read it. What you mean? Why I ain't read it? I just read that. What was he forgiving me for again? I didn't apologize to him for nothing. <laughs> Bernard says, repent, brother. Jesus is real. Well, I got $1,000 if you can show me him in the Old Testament. You got any scripture that you can show that JC is in the Old Testament. I have $1,000 to cash at you right now. And, you know, I, I, all that propaganda, putting pe propaganda in people, uh, chat box and stuff, man, that ain't going to fly. Prove it. You can come up if you want to come and talk. About, you can come on here, re request to get in the guest box and state your case why JC is real with scripture. No feelings, not what you thinking, Bernard. I dare you. <laughs> uh, why do... You didn't do the Corinthians. I set that shit on fire. That ain't words of the most high. You, I set that on fire, bro. That's, this is Corinthians right here. <laughs> this is Corinthians right here. It's burned, man. It's crispy. <laughs> that's, I don't follow. I don't follow. that. That's not my God right there. That's, those are the God. That's the God of the sinners. That's the lowercase God of the sinners. That's that's one piece right there. It's a piece that left right there, but it's some, it's so much bullshit. I'm gonna burn that too. I'm not near my Bible, but Psalm 36 and 5 pop in my head. Will you read it? Sure will. Sure will. Psalm 36 and 5. Six. 
verse 5. All right. Beautiful. It says, Your steadfast love, O Yah, is as great as all the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches beyond the clouds. Oh, that's beautiful. Your faithfulness reaches beyond the clouds. Your justice as solid as the of Yah's mountains. And your decisions are full of wisdom. As the oceans are with water. Your decisions are full of wisdom. Oh, that's hard though. Everything Yah does is full of wisdom. His decisions. As the oceans are with water. You can't you can't count that, man. There's no bottom in the ocean. Boundless, unimaginable, endless, endless wisdom. You couldn't, you couldn't contain the fullest of y'all Almighty in a thought. And you have it, you have a brain aneurysm. <laughs> you couldn't. It just won't happen. All right. You are concerned for men and animals alike. Let me tell you something. And this is this is a good this is a good this is perfect how it's written. If you even doing an animal wrong, like if you're being wrong to an animal, biased to an animal, and I'm talking about I ain't talking about, you know, what we hunt. I'm talking about a domestic pet animal. Man, ooh. You're going to be held accountable for that. You ain't even know that. <laughs> I bet y'all ain't even know that. You are going to be held accountable for wrongdoing to animals as well. All right. All right. How precious is your constant love, oh, y'all? All humanity takes refuge in the shadow of your wings. You feed them with blessings from your own table. And you let them drink from the rivers of delight. Ooh. That's, this, this is deep right here. This is deep. I don't know if, 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 if you're ready to grasp it. But this is deep. All right. You feed them with blessings from your own table, y'all. And you let them drink from your rivers of delight. Ooh. Rivers of delight. The fountain of righteousness. The unexhaustible fountain of righteousness. The one that he delights in. Oh man, y'all flowing. Alright. For you are the fountain of life, oh Yah. Our light is from your light. Our light is from your light. Ooh, this is beautiful. You are the fountain of life, oh Yah. Our light is from your light. Pour out your unfailing love. On those who know you. Never stop giving your blessings. To those who do your will. Don't let these proud men trample me. Hear me, Yah. The forever one. Blessed is he, the perpetual God, the Holy One of Israel. Hear me, Father. Don't let these proud men trample me. Don't let their wicked hands push me around. Look, they have fallen. They are thrown down and they will not rise again. Praise y'all almighty. This is beautiful. Great, great, great obedience right there. That was high obedience. You brought that forth. The most high put it on you for us to read it and delight in it. And that was very delightful. 
for us to hear this incredible things and wonderful things about our God through the one whose the words are by. Through the they put my words in here. They put my words in here. Let's let's start from the beginning. We can start from the beginning. Verse 36. I mean chapter 36, verse 1. Sin lurks deep in the hearts of the wicked, forever urging them to evil deeds. Man, we've been saying, I've been saying this all on the live. These people are wicked. And sin lurks deep in the hearts of the wicked, forever urging them on to evil deeds. That's all they're going to do when you're wicked. That's what you're going to do. That's why you need somebody to die for your unaccountability. That's why you want somebody to be in place for the bullshit that you are doing so that you can continue in your bullshit and not be accountable. That is why. All right. They have no fear of Yah to hold themselves back. Instead, in their conceit, they think that they can hide their evil deeds and not be caught. Ooh, flow, Yah. Everything they say is crooked and deceitful. They are no longer wise and good. Talked about the sinners. They are no longer wise and good. Everything they say is deceitful. So you can look. That's talking about, man, look. They can't do, they can't tell the truth. All they do is lie. They think it's okay to repent every day. Sin is a lifestyle to Jesus believers. You are right. You called it all the way right. That's right. They have no accountability. This is what's going for here. Everything they say is crooked and deceitful. They are no longer wise and good. So if you marry a man like this, or you marry a woman like this, y'all just, y'all are both going to destroy each other. Y'all are both going to destroy each other. And guess what? You're going to raise a bunch of children who are wicked, and doing the same thing. Lies and deceit. That's exactly what's going to happen. Alright. Verse 4. They lie awake at night. To hatch their evil plots. Instead of planning how to keep them away from wrong. They up they, they late at night. Just, they're plotting on what they can do. Some shit they can come up with. Just plotting. Instead of turning away from their wrong, they plotting on how to do some wrong. Got his ass off the loud then. Didn't even have to mute him. <laughs> uh, TikTok centers. Yeah. That's beautiful. All right. Your steadfast love, O Yah, is as great as all the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches beyond the clouds. See, Yah gave this to you. He gave this to you because we just have verse 1 through 4, got the sinners in check. Talking about the sinners. It started at verse 5, the goodness. So you know the most High gave it to you. Hallelujah. He left soon as the counselor started reading it. These are my words. These people don't know this. That's why they so foolish. How, you sitting here, you, you say you believe in the Bible. And the Bible talking about me the whole time. You trying to tell me I need to repent and believe in the son of the most high. And I am the son of the most high. <laughs> and I'm sitting all out. And you talking to me. And you telling somebody that they need to believe in the son of the most high. And you talking to the son of the most high. Like, what kind of sense? Do y'all even know what's going on here? What are you doing? The son of the most high, Yah, is before you. He even is, is in his name. And all righteousness. And you tell him that he need to repent. And you are a sinner. Oh, that's some bad accountability. You're going to have to face up. That's some bad. You're going to have to face that up. You're going to have to explain that to the most high. It's going to be a lot of explanation. He ain't going to hear none of that. He ain't hearing that. 
judgment, no mercy. No mercy. Yep, like G Trad. G Trad, oh, he got a bad man. Man, them angels, man, they finna do. He in trouble. Big trouble. All he had to do was repent and make that shit right. He done did too much wrong to try to, he ain't even trying to cover it up. Got all that uh slanderous content on his page about me and and all and he ain't proved nothing with no scriptures and man bro misled misled a lot of people. Alright. Y'all coming in the club. Oh, he he got it out here for us. There's so much good stuff. He got it for us. When y'all when when the scoffers are not around and we able to learn and listen, man, it's go, it just go to flowing. It's flowing because it's so beautiful in here. It's so beautiful. My daughter was doing it earlier. She's just like, she's like, Dad, is there a Psalms 100? I said, yes, yeah, a Psalm 100. Can we read it? <laughs> we bust out the book and read. And is there a Psalms? And she did every name, number she called, we were reading it. And, you know, that was beautiful because, you know, daughter young and you know that's we're supposed to talk about our god amongst our children morning and night morning day and night so yeah hallelujah yeah that's how we do it that's how you do it how can you go wrong if yah be with us who could be against us if yah be with us who can be against us if our God is not angry with us and we have repented for our past sins and any any time we stumble, our God is going to receive us with good delight, with great delight. All right. Be willing to do accountability. Be willing to follow his instructions carefully, very carefully, very carefully. All right. Job 22, 21. Job 22, 21. All right. Job, all right, I'm on the Job 22, 21. All right. Quit wrestling with Yah. Agree with him and you will have peace at last. His favor will surround you if you will only admit that you were wrong. Wow, that's perfection. That's perfection. I got to mark that. That's so, that's why I'm trying to, that's why I be telling you guys, if I, if I say something to you, it's scripture. Me talking to you just talking to you is scripture. I be flowing in scripture having conversation with you guys. You, and, and if you read the words of Yah, you will see it perfectly. You will see it perfectly. And I can say something clearly. Is that it's time to face up the accountability. Quit wrestling with Yah. It's time to face up the accountability. His favor will surround you if you only admit that you were wrong. <laughs> yeah, man, you admit you were wrong, man. I'm telling you, I, shit, whatever you done did, you done wrong did to me, I forget. You know, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to tell you about it. Yeah, you, 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 you bullshitted on me, but, man, I appreciate the consideration and apology. And, yeah, man, y'all almighty delights to wipe your slate clean. He want to wipe your slate clean, man. How could I be able to come before you and teach you righteousness if I never did a sin before? How can I be, how can I show you how to repent if I never had to repent myself? Come on, man, the most high sin. He gave y'all, he gave you, he gave an example to follow. All right. Oh, we in the Enoch now. Oh, oh, there we go. We in the Enoch now. Okay, Enoch three. Enoch chapter three. Please keep reading. Uh, what were we? I, I lost what I was. Oh, Psalm thirty six. Oh, we gonna keep reading. We gonna keep reading. Enoch three. First Enoch three. Enoch three and All right. 
Oh, the Job. Keep reading the Job. Okay, yeah. All right. Keep reading the Job. Verse 22. Job 22 and 22. Mm -hmm. Listen to his instructions and store them in your heart. If you return to Yah Almighty and put right and all the wrong in your home, then you will be restored. All right? If you will return to Yah Almighty and put right all the wrong in your home, then you will be restored. If you give up your lust for money, throw all your gold away, then Yah Almighty himself shall be your treasure. And he will be your precious silver. All right? All your gold. It's not saying the gold that you wear on your chain and stuff. It's basically saying, yeah, your, your idols. Your idolatry, put it away, so y'all Almighty can be your everything. Cause if you're trying to hold a piece, oh man, I got this nice gold nugget, or I got this, that'll become idolatry. Yeah, I got this nice, that'll become idolatry. All right, so this is beautiful. All right. Then Yah Almighty himself shall be your treasure. That's better than all that. And he will be your precious silver. Then you will delight yourself in Yah Almighty. And look up to Yah. You will pray to him and he will heal you. And you will fulfill all your promises to him. Whatever you wish will happen. And the light of heaven will shine upon the road ahead of you. If you are attacked or knocked down, you know that there is someone who will lift you up again. Yes, he will save the humble and he will even help the sinners by pure hands. Beautiful. That's beautiful right there. By pure hands. No blood on these hands. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. The sinners turn from your sin. I used to be a sinner. All those who don't know the path of Yah are sinners. The path of righteousness is here. All right. Enoch 3. All right, we're going to read that. We're going to read that. I don't know which one you you have, which book you have. I got this one. And I got the other one too, but. Which one you want me to read out of? You want me to read out the uh, original Enoch 3? Because it might be different. What is the proper way to repent? The proper way to repent. Alright, you got to put your idolatry down. You got to you gotta turn from your sin. You got to put down your idolatry for sure. Like, say you were serving JC. And say you wanted to repent tonight. Or you wanted to start now. Yeah, anything you did for JC, you got to diss that. You got to diss that. You got to erase that. You got to remove that. You got to make it right with the Most High. You know, let the Most High, you know, you you know, you have an accountability for that. You know, your mistakes, the things that you have done, the people that you have wronged, and you want to learn how to walk in His righteousness, and you're willing to do what it takes. Yeah, that's the start. And he likes when you uh, you show that by breaking. If you got a cross, if you got a cross chain, you got a gold chain with a cross on it. I don't care if you spent a couple bands on it. Take that hammer and crush that shit. Bam. Yep, and say FJC after you do it. And then 
uh, you can you can take a couple scriptures for the New Testament that you used to believe in, or used to thought was true, having faith of a mustard seed or some bullshit like that, and you set that shit on fire. And then, yeah, that, you know, then the yeah, Most High, like, yeah, okay, he he turning from his way. You know, he used to eat, say you eating pork or you eating the wrong type of food you ain't supposed to eat, and uh, you, you're reading the words of the Most High that. He don't want you to eat certain things and stuff, and you turn and do that. The most I see that you are being obedient. Okay, you honor when a woman on her separation. You honor that. You you give her a distance. You ain't trying to touch on it, hug on it, and even there's there's men that will actually sleep with women on their separation, A.K.A. <laughs> time of the month. You honor these things. The most high will you know he see that as as great consideration and righteousness all right fit the four books read it from that one all right all right cool all right enoch three it says observe and see how in the winter all the trees seem as though they had withered and shed all of their leaves except for 14 trees which do not lose their foliage but retain the old foliage from the two to three year until the new comes all right that's beautiful that's a great that was, that's great uh, i know that's a small chapter though that's the end of it but yeah in the winter the trees lose their foliage but there are 14 trees that don't and uh you know you can just pass by on roads and just you can look through you can see through you know wooded areas now because a lot of trees lost their leaves and that's why it is called you know that's why i guess they call it fall time it's starting to fall because it was the fall of man when they ate from the fig tree all right the fig tree is what they ate from and up themselves with fig leaves and that when they bit from the tree all the leaves that was in the garden of the trees fell except from the fig tree wow beautiful all right y'all Marcus said I got a question all right come with it this is y'all Torah says can you talk about balancing work and home? Keep your relationship in good standing. Okay, yeah. So that's a good. So everybody's everybody ha like you're everybody's in an area right now. They're at a place, and some people they work a lot. When you have a relationship, you have to be able to in your relationship. If you're working, it's to provide, it's to provide to get, you know, for what you have and to get some things. You got to accomplish goals and, you, and it's, everything's expensive now. Food, everything's expensive. So you either have to have multiple incomes, have your own business. Even if you got your own business, you're still very busy. So the things that are happening now, you have to be able to your professionalism and stuff you have to be able to hold that down and understand that you got to do this to make your money happen, make this money and whatever position you're in that's where you are right you got to ride with that you know what i'm saying unless you're finna upgrade or you done came on to something that's better but no nah, you got to ride with it the most high gave you that he gave you that time you're getting the money like that and when this time come on with it don't try to fuck that up not thinking or saying, look, well, uh, being jealous of business or something. Business is business. You can't be jealous of that. You can't be jealous of business. Business is business. That means, okay, if you want to have lights on in your house <laughs> and you want to have a house, let alone a fucking apartment or whatever you're in, the work got, you got to, you have, that money got to be made. It's not growing on trees. Now, if you making thousands of dollars to stream on TikTok or stream on live or something, if you teaching and you going hard, 
you can do that get paid you know what i'm saying but you got to do something somebody got to make the money because if ain't nobody making the money then your ass gonna be out here and it's gonna it's rough out here it's rough out chill i ain't say out here out chill yeah chill it's rough and i'm telling you it's gonna be it'll be a very easy target now with all this crazy stuff going on so me i i have virtuous i have virtuous wives they do what Proverbs 31 is, what it says, and, and I, I trust them. I'm not, you know, phone be ringing, and I ain't worried about no, I ain't worried about no dude on the phone or nothing like that. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Because I tr I tr my heart safely trust in them. You know, my heart safely, tr I ain't, who you talking to? Shit like that. Nigga be tripping, bro. They do that. Guys do that because they have been traumatized by the lifestyle of these wicked women. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, I trust if you if if you're foolish enough to even think foolish towards me while y'all might have watching you because I didn't taught you. Your, your your knowledge is there now. Now you got to understand that y'all might have see all things and you can't even put a thought in your mind. Don't even send up a bullshit thought in your mind, let alone to my texting somebody. I ain't If you do that, you didn't you didn't commit adultery if you thought about being with another man. You got to pay for that. I ain't nobody playing like that. You're being judged by the secrets of the Most High, and that's coming forth through the counselor, and that's teaching you, yeah, your thoughts are going to even judge you now. Yeah, you ain't even got to even accomplish the act. If you thought... If you thought about doing harm to me in any kind of way in your mind, you are you 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 done that shit. Yep, you gotta pay for that. Don't fix don't fix your mind to be thinking about another man. You sit here daydreaming about another man, and you got a whole righteous husband here. We don't play that. The Most High not playing that. So I don't have to worry about things like that. All right, get the money, y'all. Okay, y'all gotta make something happen. What can I do to make y'all? experience at work better what can i do to you know bringing you lunch i'm, I'm cooking I'm, what you need me to do that's that's what you know that's what i'm gonna do and keep the chair and get the children straight i'm gonna do that but man i ain't i ain't finna be <laughs> i'm not finna be like tripping because the phone ringing and because it's money you know it's not it, it's 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 Y'all sending blessings, you know what I'm saying? And it might not, you know, it just... And then, they women of y'all. Somebody might want to know how they, you know, might want to talk to them. They going through some shit. Somebody might want to get some righteous, some righteous, uh, you know, advice. Some counsel. They want to get some counsel from them. They call them. Hey, yeah, your, your, your husband, the counselor, can you? I ain't tripping. I know folks going to call <laughs> you asking me that now? Sure, can use a cheese cake. Well, I'm on the live. You know, I, I sure get up and I get up and then go in there and get you one. All right, man. I thought you said cheese cake. No, I ain't say cheese cake. No. <laughs> no. But yeah, I, you know. But when I was out, when I was out going to work. Sometime, you know, before I, bef you know, before I retired, when I was going to work, shit, I'd be gone all day. I don't, I don't know. I don't need, if I can't, if you want me to bring some home or whatever, that's fine. But I'm gone. You know, I ain't, don't, I don't need no phone call to my, hey, when you coming home or can you? No, just trust y'all mighty, y'all mighty with me and it is what it is. Same energy, you know, uh. And it's still not. If I'm gone, I'm I'm out. Y'all almighty with me. It is what it is. What's up? So you gotta trust you trust you trust y'all almighty, don't you? We trust I trust my God, so don't, you ain't gotta be uh, all right, I'm gone. I don't you know, by me being a man and this is and this is pay attention, man, because take this in. We can't ask y'all almighty what he doing. <laughs> uh, what what do I mean by that? We can't 
We can't question the most high like what he doing. No, nah, what y'all you need to be doing something. <laughs> we are his servants. We serve him. He don't serve us. We serve him. So you can't be he you know, you you at work, your boss, somebody talking about the boss on the way. Y'all y'all had go to scouring and running. You make sure your uniforms are straight. Man, if somebody tell you y'all might have come, you need to be falling on your face. You need to be all the way full repentance. So, yeah, the servitude of y'all. The consideration of that. You have to pass that along. And the wives have to have that consideration. So, if I'm going somewhere, hey, I if I, wherever I be, I'll be back. Oh, I might. I ain't coming back till this such and such time. But uh, yeah, ain't, you know that don't mean okay. Uh, he going to he going to cheat or he going to nah man. It don't mean uh uh I gotta call him every hour to see where he at and shit. I don't. I'm not doing that. I and don't you do that. That ain't you can't do that. You can't go to. So now you don't trust. You don't trust your leader. Now you don't trust your husband. You sound like a child. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> Oh man, we're not doing that. And you men, when you allow this to happen, you are basically worshiping and serving your woman. You're basically every time, where you at? What you doing? And you are you you've been gone for a few. You might have been gone thirty minutes. What you doing? Where you at? Nah, you what? So are you, who who in charge now? Who leading? You can't you can't play those. You can't allow those things to happen. Being you know, the leader of being a husband, being a righteous man. You are the Yah. So, yeah, we the servants can't ask Yah Almighty where he at and what he doing. Take back your, your you know, your kingship. My wife and I have been married 16 years. Thank Yah Almighty. Big period. Praise Yah Almighty. Teach one for counselor. Yeah, this is the question, though. This is a good question that you guys should ask. When you talk to a woman, do you trust me to lead you? If they go to looking, oh, well, uh, uh, well, don't marry me. Uh, I shouldn't be your husband if you got to do all that. Uh, uh, if you trust me, to, you trust me as lead, to lead you and not to harm you. Yes. When you say yes, you fully trust and that's what it is. I don't, I don't even know asking no questions or none of that. Hop in the car, let go. <laughs> let's go. Let's ride. Okay, ain't no questions. So where are we going? How long are we going to be gone? You don't have no trust. Imagine you doing that to y'all almighty all the time. You asking him, all. well, you said this in your word. Well, when, when this, do you believe it or not? <laughs> do you believe what y'all almighty said you don't? I believe it. Everything you say is perfection. Everything y'all almighty say is perfection. So why are you saying that, counselor? It shows my trust in him. It shows my trust in him. I'm being a righteous wife now. <laughs> By being fully obedient and highly willing. Alright. It's a blessing to have a righteous man. Facts. That's why. That's why we have to recognize what it is. And when the women recognize to grab hold onto righteousness, then they will do they will do what's what should be done. Because the men don't understand what righteousness is from a woman now. That they have to dictate it. It's something they have to bring forth through their obedience to Yah Almighty. Alright? Through their obedience. Y'all, man. So true that the bell train. So true. All right. Any questions? 
Any questions, anybody? Any questions? All right, Zachariah. Zachariah 8. Oh, yeah, them facts gonna go for a rock star. Can't play. Zachariah 8. 1 through 17. We all mighty from the flow. We all mighty from the flow. Zechariah 8, 1 through 17. And Yah Almighty's message came to me. This is what Yah says. I am greatly concerned. Yes, I am furiously angry. Because all of Jerusalem's enemies have what they done to her. What all of Jerusalem, Israel's enemies have done to her all right now i am going to return to my land and i myself will live with jerusalem and jerusalem will be called the faithful city the holy mountain the mountain of yah almighty so he's gonna bring back his shekinah to the earth when we repent Fully to our God when we return to the land. The Most High is going to re return to the land with us. All right, verse 4. Yah Almighty declares that Jerusalem will have peace and prosperity. So long that there will be once again aged men and women hobbling through the streets on canes. And the streets will be filled with boys and girls at play. Yah says, this seems unbelievable to you. This seems unbelievable to you, a remnant, small, discouraged as you are. But there is no, but this is no great thing for me. You can sure that I will rescue my people from the east and the west, wherever they are scattered. And I will bring them home again to live safely in Jerusalem. And they will be my people, and I will be their God. Just and true, yet forgiving them for their sins. Hallelujah. Forgiving them for their sins. Verse 9. Yah Almighty says, Get on with the job and finish it. You have been listening long enough. For since you began laying the foundation of the temples, the prophets have been telling you about the blessings that await you when it is finished. Before the work began, there were no jobs, no wages, no security. You left the city. There was no assurance for you. You would ever return for your crying was rampant. But it's all so different now, says Yah Almighty. For I am sowing peace and prosperity among you. Your crops will prosper. The grapevines will be weighed down with fruit. Ooh, that's beautiful. The ground will be fertile with plenty of rain. And all these blessings will be given to the people left in the land. May you be as poor as Yahuda. And the heathen used to say to those, that they cursed. But no longer, for now Yahuda is a word of blessing. Not a curse. May you be as prosperous and happy as Yahuda is. They'll say. So don't be afraid or discouraged. Get on with rebuilding the temple. If you do so, I will certainly bless you. And do not think that I might change my mind. I did what I would. I did what I said. As I would when your fathers angered me. And I promised to punish them. And I will not change this decision of mine 
to bless you. Here is your part. Tell the truth. Be fair. Live at peace with everyone. Do not plot harm on others. And do not swear to something that is a lie. How I hate all such things. Says Yah Almighty. Alright. That's beautiful right there. That is beautiful. He hate all such things. Lie, making up lies. <laughs> Don't harm others. Be fair, tell the truth. Come on. Teach this to your children. Get this down in your life and you become righteous. Teach this to your children. Get this down in your heart and you become righteous. What is that? Here is your part. Tell the truth. Be fair. Live at peace with everyone. Do not plot to harm others. Don't swear to something that isn't true. Alright? That is true that it isn't when it isn't. I hate such things, says Yah Almighty. That's abominable to him. Alright? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, people. We are. Yeah, they they took they messed the live up on my on my uh page and um uh, you know, we had to make it happen like this. Praise the Almighty that we did. Uh it took the numbers down too, but it's all good. Somebody still learned and and you know, we came together and did this. All right, get on with rebuilding the temple. Yeah, that's deep. That's what we doing. That's what we doing. We getting on with it because uh, we're going to have some help. <laughs> we're going to have some help with that. What scripture again was that? Uh, Zechariah. Zechariah 8. 1 through, 1 through 17. Zechariah 8. 1 through 17. Yeah, man. Yes. All right. So, uh, I don't know what, you know, what the schedule going to be like this week. But, uh, you know, uh, if we going to go live, if they going to shut my live down, we going to try to do what we can do. If we take, if we rest a little bit, you know, always go to the, uh, tick, go, go to the YouTube on days that I'm not live, if y'all want to keep go to the YouTube, all of the lives are three hours long, so you can just watch it from your television, watch it from your home, watch it from your phone, and replay one that we did, or go to one that you have not seen, and they're all gonna, they're all beautiful, man, all very full of knowledge and wisdom. Okay, all right, say it with me. Righteousness is near and the counselor is here. Praise Yah Almighty. And serve him alone forever. I the link on my tick on my TikTok page. You'll see it at the top. Just the it's the uh YouTube icon. Yeah. It's on my TikTok. Just go to my TikTok page, click on that icon, it'll take you straight to it. Alright. Praise Yah Almighty forever. Hallelujah. All right, peace on y'all. See y'all next time.